Hi, my name is Chris Urgens, and today we are making a video about steam distillation. We are going to be steam distilling some herbs to get their essential oils. All right, so there are several different herbs you can choose from in this lab. Um, so you can pick whichever one. It's pretty much the same procedure. Um, you'll just get a different essential oil based on the herb that you're going to choose. So today, um, what I am going to distill is cinnamon bark. Um, so first you want to get your mortar and pestle and you want to grind it up as best you can. And we're going to weigh out about five grams. So that we have our cinnamon crushed, we're going to add it to um, our weigh boat and we want around five grams. So we have a mass of 5.077 grams. We're gonna add this to our 200 or 250 round bottom flask. All right, so I've added 75 mils of water to a round bottom flask with our cinnamon. So we have our distillation apparatus set up. So we're gonna start distilling. So we have our distillation apparatus set up. We have the water on. We have the heating mantle on. Notice when you're using the ceramic heating mantles, you don't have to use sand, but if you do, just make sure um, you don't put too much so uh, the heat doesn't get to the round bottom flask. But you just wanna watch for boiling again. Uh, make sure it doesn't boil over into the three-way adapter into the distillate into the condenser if it does you'll just have to start over um, again we're gonna try to watch for the temperature to rise we're gonna see at what temperature we get that first distillate and we're gonna try to collect around 50 mils As you can see, the distillate is very cloudy. That is because the cinnamaldehyde and water are coming over um, through our condenser, and that's what it gives that cloudiness to our distillate, the cloudiness to the distillate. To separate the cinnamaldehyde from the water using DCM so I added 40 mils of DCM into our separatory funnel um, along with our distillate that we got. Right now that we have it mixed and we vented it um, we are going to extract the organic layer and we're going to do this um, like two more times. Now that we have collected our extractions, we are now going to dry with some sodium sulfate and then evaporate it on the rotovap. So this is our product. Here we have 
2-4 DMP test. So you're going to get your filter paper, put it on a watch glass. You're going to spot the paper twice, one for a control and one for the actual product. So you can see here, I spotted it twice. Um, just so we can see the difference between water and our actual product. This is water. So this is the water for our control. As you can see, there was no color change. It still say that yellow color. And this is our product. It changed to a very bright red. It says water in our product. This is water. As you can see, it just kind of dilutes it out. This is our product. So you can see. Is positive. 